everybody, hope you're all well. Today I'm filming a YouTube Make Me Buy It video, which is a kind of old video in the YouTube world. I saw Fleur de Fours filming her own version of it quite recently and I have to say I was really inspired by it and I said, you know what, I'm gonna film my own version and see how it goes since the majority of the items I buy nowadays are YouTube recommendations. Uh, in the past I used to read magazines or read blogs online, but nowadays I'm mostly inspired by um, Pinterest, Instagram and of course YouTube. Uh, before I buy everything I'll just uh, Google it or um, try and see if there's a YouTube recommendation about it. I somehow managed to narrow it down to 10 products, but obviously there are many more products that I bought because of YouTube, so without further ado, let's jump straight into the video and see uh, my version of YouTube made me buy it video. I'm gonna start with this little fellow right here and this is no other than the Becca uh, Simmer Skin Perfector in the color Champagne Pop. There was a time when everybody and their mother was talking about this little product right here. It was like a YouTube craze. Uh, everybody, like everybody was trying this, recommending this, talking about this. There was such a fuss and a buzz around this product and obviously this is a collaboration between Jaclyn Hill and Becca. Jaclyn Hill is a major American YouTuber which has done many collaborations um, and this was by far I think her most successful one. It's a highlighter and to be honest I wasn't even familiar with the brand Becca before. I mean we do have them in the UK but they're not huge. They're sold in selective places uh, and this little fella right here was sold out for months. This is a very nice uh, beautiful goldeny kind of uh, warm bronzer which I'm really happy I managed to finally get my hands on it and ever since I bought it I haven't looked back. It's a beautiful bronzer to use especially in the summer months and yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful product. I'm really happy YouTube made me buy it. The second product I would like to talk to you guys about is the Kevin O'Quan uh, Sculpting Powder in the color Medium. Again, there was a time where everybody was talking or using this powder and with a good reason because this is a very cool tone powder. Ah, sorry, I have to say this is in the color Medium. Uh, I think this is the original and then they brought a lighter version of it and a darker version of it. But for me, medium is the ideal shade and as I was saying, it's a very cool tone powder which is the only powder I use when I want to contour. Um, it's matte and it's a very cool tone that always looks like a shadow. I don't remember whom particularly I watched and I was convinced to buy this because there were so many people talking about it. but. Yeah, I'm really happy I did because it's a beautiful product and totally worth the hype. Next up, I would like to throw uh, skincare into the mix and just spice things a little bit up. This is the Shiseido Ibuki mask and I heard Fleur's de Force talking about this mask. I think it was a year back when she did a top 5 masks video and I was actually on the hand at the time for her hydration mask. So the moment she recommended it I just went out and bought it because I really trust her recommendations. And this is a beautiful like gel-like formula. It's very light to use, it's not very thick but at the same time it's a uh, so hydrating and I just it's an all-night mask that you apply on your face before you go to bed and you just leave it all day all night and in the morning when you wake up your skin feels so rejuvenated and so plumped uh, what I really like about this also is because it's an all-night mask is that it's not too sticky I mean it is a little bit sticky but in comparison to other masks I've tried it's not that sticky you know sometimes when you apply a product and then you go to bed and you feel like your whole head sticks into the pillow and you cannot even turn the other side. This is not at all like that. It is a little bit somewhat sticky, but in comparison with other products, it's uh, very non-sticky and it's something I really like um, and enjoy using. Next up, I'm gonna talk about the Tartlet in Bloom palette. Now, this was not recommended by a specific YouTuber in the terms that uh, we do not have Tarte in the UK, so I was watching ton of American and uh, Canadian YouTubers talking and using and swatching this palette. I think initially it was Estelle uh, from Estelle alone that she was mentioning Tarte products. I actually didn't buy this palette myself, a friend of mine was visiting the US and she was like, 
she asked me whether I would like uh, anything from there and I, I said yes please buy me this uh, Tarte Lightning Bloom palette that everybody talks about and I have to say it's my go-to palette I use it almost every day especially it's a very kind of neutral everyday palette but it, it covers all the basics and especially these two colors right here Smarty Pants and Firecracker as you can see they have a massive dent I use all the bloody time so uh, Smarty Pants I use all uh, in my crease just to deepen the things out and their Firecracker I use all over the lid just for a two color very simple everyday look and I absolutely love them Moving forward, I'll talk about the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder again. I don't know why it's just a powder, but the whole YouTube community was talking and recommending this specific Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Now, unfortunately, it's not that I don't like this product, but I don't use it as often as I should. I think it's because before buying this product, I've never kind of used a loose powder, and I'm always, even now, um, pressed powder girl. I just find the loosened powders um, inconvenient because you can only use them when you're at home and you just want to bake or use them like to set your makeup and then you cannot take them with you and reapply when you're on the go. So when during the day when you have an oily t-zone you cannot just take your loose powder with you. You have to take a pressed powder. Um, so yeah this is a great product but I haven't been using it uh, enough. I don't think it's practical for my needs at least and um, yeah this was a, another product that you know the whole YouTube community was talking about and was recommending and it's a good powder. Ideally if you're someone that you have combination to oily skin I tend to be more on the dry side uh, but yeah Unfortunately, even though YouTube made me buy it, it's not a product that I have been using and it just sits there on my vanity, which is actually a waste. Now, the f next product is one of the best products that YouTube made me buy, actually, and is the uh, L'Oreal Colorish Mono Shadows. I'm pretty sure uh, it was Tati that she uh, made a video about these eyeshadows. And at the same time, I think Amelia Liana was raving about them. These are single eyeshadows by L'Oreal Paris and they're called the Colorish Formula. These are very inexpensive and oh my god, they're so pigmented, so good quality. I have three colors here. I have the color Nude 204, I have the uh, color Nude 208 and I have a Lumiere 502. This one, like this uh, champagne-y, golden -y one, I was wearing on, the, on my previous video about the top 5 iconic bronzers which I'm gonna link somewhere here in the screen but uh, in this video I was wearing this eyeshadow and they're so pigmented like I don't even know if you can see with one swatch how beautifully they apply they're gorgeous, they're really nice to blend and as I said so inexpensive I love the fact that they come in singles, that means you can carry them in your handbag and yeah, I, Tati and Amelia and Leanna are both YouTubers I really trust so I know that when they recommend something, it's gonna work. I mean, they, it's tried and tested so I really trust their opinion and when I heard both of them raving about this, I just had to give them a go and yeah, there are beautiful eyeshadows. So if you're on a budget, or if you don't want to spend too much money on a shadow, but you want something that has a good payoff, go and try this ones out. They are amazing. Next up, I have a mascara, and I have to thank Tanya Burr about this mascara. This is the L'Oreal Grandiose Extreme Mascara, and I think Tanya Burr was using this mascara back in the summer, and. Um, this is the banded kind of wand mascara, but it's not the original, it's the second version of it, the Extreme, the Grandiose Extreme. And oh my god, ever since I follow her recommendation and bought it, I have to say this is one of my favorite high-end mascaras. It applies beautifully, it coats your lashes amazing. The only thing is that I, it's not the ideal mascara to put layer over layer over layer, but one layer 
will last and it will give you the effect that three layers of mascara uh, would do in other circumstances if you know what I mean comes with a typical bent what's the word wand and yeah it's just an overall great mascara and I have no other but Tanya Burr to uh, think about this one I think Fleur de Force also mentioned it in a video recently saying that this is in her top five top end mascaras and yes it's a mascara that I really enjoy using and would recommend if you're someone that looks for both volume and length again I know I've talked about this uh, products a million times on my channel so I don't wanna uh, tie your ears off but this liquid lipsticks by Kat Von D oh my god again everybody was talking about it especially the color Lolita which is this one everybody had it everybody had to talk about it use it in a video whatever and um, back up in the day where these were popular and these were trendy and everybody was talking about them we didn't have Kat Von D in the UK and I so wanted to get my hands on these because everybody say how great they are how long lasting they are how they don't dry your lips out and things like that and when uh, Kat Von D launched in the UK oh my god the first thing I did is went online and order these three colors including Lolita Lolita 2 and Boenaro. I'm sure you're all familiar with these and um, yeah I just I'll, I'll swatch Lolita for you guys it's this beautiful warm tone color just right here and I'm not someone that wears liquid lipstick a lot I don't have a lot of other brands uh, of liquid lipsticks but when Kat Von D, as I said, launched in the UK, I had to go and buy them straight away. So I just went online and ordered these three colors and I just love them. They're the best liquid lipsticks I've personally used. So another great purchase because of YouTube. Okay, next up, I'm gonna talk about these two lip liners by MAC. Oh my God, the one is in the color Whirl and the other is in the color Spice. There was a time. There was a time, people, where everybody was manic about these two colors. There was a time where I was trying to get my hands on these two lip liners and I couldn't find them anywhere. They were constantly sold out. I think the Spice one I managed to get at an airport and then Whirl, I, after going to different stores and MAC counters uh, for quite some time and it being sold out constantly I once went to Fenwick and I asked for it and there was a guy there and I remember he said oh my god you're so lucky we just got a new stocking and there may be a few so I'll get you one honey he was like oh my god I felt like buying I don't know tre a treasure I, and um, yeah it was that hard to get your hands on these two lip, lip colors Spice and Whirl, they're both very neutral, they're both very similar and Whirl is a little bit more brownie and Spice is a little bit more pinky but they're both a similar kind of vibe, very neutral, very kind of go with everything kind of and uh, I can see why people were talking about it I have to say I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of the MAC original lip liners in general because I find them a little bit woody and a little bit like hard to apply I much more prefer the prolonged lip liners than the original ones but I have to uh, be honest and say that these two colors are beautiful especially Whirl this is my second uh, lip liner that I bought because I've used it so much and I absolutely love and Spice too but Whirl a little bit more and yeah they're great lip liners but it's funny because a year back you wouldn't be able to even get your hands on them and now nobody even talks about those two anymore and it's funny how things work sometimes but yeah good lip liners great colors and the last and final place to this video has to go to the NARS orgasm blast I have to say I generally love the formula of NARS blushes but I don't know why this blush in particular became so popular. I don't know if it's the name or it's something about this particular color that everybody weren't crazy about. As 
you see, I jump into the butter wagon and bought it because I'm a victim of consumerism. And uh, this is a very nice orangey, corally, and very simmery kind of blush. So you need to be careful when you apply it. I love using this blush in the summer, but I stay away from it during autumn and winter months, uh, just because it's very in your face. What more can I say about this? It has the standard um, NARS formula, which I specifically really like. The color, it's beautiful. I cannot say, personally, it's my favorite NARS shade, but yeah, if you, you know, if you hear about, if you hear a hundred different people talking about this blush and they say, you need to have this blush, you need to buy this blush, you just go and buy it. And um, yeah, it's a blush that I really enjoy using. As I said, I use this in the summer more than I do in the autumn and winter months just because it's very orangey and very shimmery. But uh, it's a really nice standard NARS for blush formula, which I love and I would recommend. So that is everything for me guys, hope you enjoyed this little YouTube made me buy video. Please let me know in the comments down below which product YouTube made you buy. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that already. Uh, thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you all very soon with another video. Bye guys.